pendant. Okay. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. Come on. Back inside. Good morning. And welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to Houston, Texas. I'm Alexia Nicole, and I am living my life by design. So, I just got home. The dogs are in the back. I'm trying to make sure they don't go nowhere. They're they're latched in, but they just make me so nervous. Um, mm, crazy dogs. Anyways, I just got home yesterday, and y'all know like I, I usually do. I laid in bed all day, didn't do anything. But today I decided to get up because I'm really going on this 30 for 30 and I got to work out. And I haven't taken my dogs to the park. I can't tell you the last time I actually took them with me to the park because I always regret doing it because they're crazy. Aspen, get down. No, no, no. Okay. Well, Denver is latched. Aspen isn't, obviously, as he just hopped in here. <sighs> but I feel better with him inside anyway. Denver, she all right out there. Um, anyways, y'all, I'm going to go drop off some clothes, my uniforms at the cleaner. And then um, we're going to go to the park. And I'm going to see how much I'm going to end up regretting this. <laughs> so I'm already regretting it. I got one in my hand. The other one is loose. These dogs, I love them, but they are not trained on leashes like one bit. They have no manners when it comes to the park and being on a leash. <sighs> but it's bonding time. <laughs> See? You can't even get a consistent run going. watching CNN and the entire Southwest incident that happened yesterday uh, I had to just take a day and a breather to like really just like realize what was happening you know I just it's just so scary and so realistic because those things can obviously really happen I just want to say my heart goes out to the family of the lady that lost her life, all the customers, passengers that were on the plane that had to experience that, the crew. I can only imagine how terrifying that must have been and then you still have to do your job in that moment. And then just all the Southwest family. I mean, you know, these airlines, they compete with one another. They want to be the best. But nobody wants to ever hear about an emergency on an aircraft, no matter how big or small it is. And that just happens to be a very big emergency. And unfortunately, somebody lost their lives. And that's just, it's just so sad. Um, I'm watching the news to see if they, they have a cause of death. I don't think they've released it yet. Regardless, it's just, it's just so disheartening and it makes you step back and realize once again why we are on that aircraft and why we take everything that we ask customers and passengers to do as far as safety so seriously. My heart goes out to all of you all at Southwest. I know I have some subscribers that work at Southwest. My heart is with you and the rest of your company. Good morning. It is a new day. Today is Thursday. Y'all, today is the last day, um, the last episode of Grey's Anatomy, not Grey's Anatomy, 
Why would I even say Grace Anatomy? A scandal. Ever. <laughs> Craziness. Um, but I am on my way to the dentist to get these pearly whites even pearlier. Um, they're probably going to tell me I need a root canal because I've been needing one literally y'all for two, three years now. But I feel no pain and I'm like, I don't want you going digging in my mouth if nothing is hurting. Like, for what? <laughs> so he's going to give me the whole spiel about, Alexa, you need, a, you need to schedule your appointment for your root canal because one day you're going to wake up and it's just going to be killing you. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, Dr. Green, I know. So... I'm just one of those people I avoid any type of medical incidences or medical procedures no matter what it is dental medical I don't want it I don't like it so I avoid it until like I'm dying <laughs> which I know isn't good but hey anyways y'all so let's go cleaning is done how do they look <laughs> so I'm just gonna ask him a question about this little tooth right here that's popping out this way I wanted to go back this way. <laughs> like real successful. Yeah, well, it's not that major, but I think it's only happened within like the last year, and I haven't had my braces since what eighth grade. Yeah. Tenth grade or something like that. So I was just wondering how it shifted. That's what all I'm of wondering too, because it's bonded to the retainer. The retainer yeah. is actually bonded behind it. Um, let me just see. Real quick. But I mean, like I said, you look pretty white. You might yeah. see half a shade whiter. But not a lot. Bottom. I mean, you are super white. Like, people would kill to have that color. Uh, and I want whiter. <laughs> I, mean, you know, like, I mean, what the in-office does, it just makes it to where you're taking two weeks worth of whitening and putting it in one day. In one day. And that's $400. Mm -hmm. Or how much is the gel, do you know? The gel is, um, how do we do it? It's going to be $50 for two, and it's like $30 for one. Okay. So. Well, I'll wait till you get the so gel. what I was asking my doctor is that I had braces. I got my braces off when I was 16, 14 years ago. So, and my teeth have done pretty well. Like, right? I wear my retainer almost every night. I, if y'all ever notice I have a missing tooth, God didn't bless me with that tooth. I never wanted to get a fake one. So, on my retainer, I have a... Um, just a thing that holds the space so I don't have any more shiftage. Um, but my bottom tooth, this little tooth right here, it started to turn over like the past, I don't know, year or so. So I was asking him what could be done to like get it back in line so it would look like this side and not like poking out like that. And he basically said I would have to get braces again. And <laughs> I'm not doing that. So we just gonna have to live with that little slight imperfection. Um, and then I was asking the nurse or I don't know what they're technically called um, about the whitening process because I think they're pretty white, but they could be whiter. Why not? And I've had the, the, um, the trays where they do the mold of your mouth and you put the gel in and you do it once a night or whatever. Um, I have those trays at home. I just don't have any more gel. And I used it and I don't know. I guess I was just lazy. That was years ago. So then I was asking her about the um, the laser whitening. And she was saying that um, my best friend got that done about three years ago before her wedding. And she was telling me it hurt like all hell. So I was asking her about that. And she was just like, yeah, you know, it's just a very intense pain. It feels like you're getting stuck by a lot of needles at once um, and it's just basically a higher dosage of the gel to get your teeth whiter quicker and so she was like she's getting a new gel so I'll probably just go back and get that and try that again um, and see just if I can lift these teeth maybe like a half a shade or something you know whatever <laughs> good morning so today is what I like to call self-care day I am doing the whole shebang, the works. It's time to get this hair touched up on some color, get a haircut, get these eyebrows whipped back into shape, get these nails done, these toes done, the whole shebang. So let's go. Oh Lord. Yeah, this ain't it, this ain't it. That's a little more like it. It's a little redder than I wanted, but I don't have time to play with this hair today. Time to go to the nail shop. And then off to the barbershop. <sighs> Got my nails did, y'all. 
nice neutral compliant color my toes are the same color and I'm just gonna skip on right next door and go get these eyebrows done let me tell you the last two times I got my eyebrows done in New York well did I get them done in New York the last time no I got them done in San Fran but the time before that I got them done in New York and she made them so thin my reaction was not very nice so when I went to San Fran I was just like just clean them up I watched her like wax every single little hair because I did not want them thin again so now I had to go to my lady to get them done to perfection ah, feeling and looking like a well put together woman again yes yes haircut I'm getting closer and closer to cutting all of this off face is slimming down nicely 30 for 30 is working <laughs> all right y'all so done with me for the day now I have to go and find my godson, my honorary godson, as I like to call little Kai, a gift for his first birthday. His first birthday party is tomorrow, so let's go shopping. So I'm in Nordstrom's Rack. I was heading to Zara, because as y'all know, Zara's my favorite store, and I was going to get Kai something out of there, but Nordstrom Rack has some cute little things in here too, and probably... A lot less expensive so I can get like two or three outfits for the price of one in there so I think it's probably best that I stay right here look how cute that is have a Nike day the shirt and the matching shorts it's so adorable and it's only $16 yes win all right I'm gonna do that and then he wears a six and a half I can find some Nikes to go with it and call it a day done with Kai <laughs> I can go shop for myself. Hi, pumpkin. Oh, y'all don't want to love on me? No? Okay. Hi, Aspen. Hi, hi, Tintin. Okay. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. Come on, back inside. All right, guys. Oh, I forgot to show y'all what I got for myself and Kai. Um, I'll show y'all later. But now I am rushing. <laughs> to go meet my sister we're gonna go have some dinner I text her and told her to leave work early because I was hungry and now I wasted time because do y'all ever do this that you know the, the person that you're gonna go meet is gonna look cute and you were just like regular regular like I've had on sweatpants and a t-shirt all day y'all so I had to go home get this face together put on a light beat and I think it's cute what do y'all think this lip color matches my hair real nice <laughs> I'm just feeling myself so I was like oh my sister gonna be cute I can't just be looking like nothing so look guys my sister dressed like me <laughs> she's a copycat no she's a copycat you wore that twerk yes I'm you a copycat put that on. I had it on since <laughs> 7 o'clock this morning <laughs> those jeans too yes what you doing what day of the week is this Friday. Oh, today is Friday. Friday. Uh -huh. But we're heading to Olive Garden. It's a little snack. A meal. I'm hungry. I'm a snack. <laughs> hey guys, it's a new day. I've been bumming it out. But now I'm headed to Kai's birthday party. And I never showed y'all what I got him. And I'm running late. Like always. So it was a cute, I can probably show y'all. I'll show y'all because I still have to go buy a gift bag for it. So before I put it in the gift bag and stuff, I'll show you. It's a cute little denim jacket. I love denim on denim. So I was like, let me hook little Kai up with a denim jacket. And I got him like two little tops to go with it. So let's go. Yeah, I popped into Walgreens real quick. I look cute, y'all. <laughs> y'all see that? Shoes is cute. Y'all remember I wore these shoes to the Christmas party? The Keller Williams Christmas party? Got my lucky shoes. Okay, we gotta get just a. Do they have those little boxes? I like the little boxes. And I think Kiera would appreciate this little box. Sipping. I should probably get a card. His birthday, kid's birthday, kid's birthday. Why am I late? I've had all day. I haven't left the house all day. Why am I late? It's freaking ridiculous. First birthday. Lots of surprises and yummy treats too. Is that cute? Are sure to pop up for a cutie like you. Happy first birthday. I think that's cute and simple. Um, okay, we're gonna get that one. 
because if I stay here and look at all of them, I'm never gonna leave. All right, let's go. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. This cute little denim jacket from Zara. How adorable is that, y'all? Like, how stinking cute. And then I got him just two little shirts to go, well, not necessarily to go with it, but that one. And then this little white one. I really had to have some self-control when I was in Zara because I was about to go in and buy Kai everything and then I had to remember that I got a life to live this summer so I need to save my coin. Sunday night and it's time for me to go um, I picked up a trip for Tuesday so that means I need to commute back to New York tomorrow get my life together and start working I originally had a trip on Wednesday but I've become a little restless and I just yeah I'm ready to get back to the skies make some money of course so yeah, I'm putting on my little face mask right now. I've been doing these about three or four times a week. I bought the whole pack, um, the Peter Thomas Roth. Um, I forgot what they called it, but it has the five different face masks in there. So I'm gonna do this, wash another load of clothes, pack up my bags, and then I'll be gone tomorrow. But. I won't be gone for as long as I was this last time. I'll be back, I think, like on May 10th or 11th or something. Um, one of my friends got engaged, so she's having an engagement party. So, <sighs> Anyways, good night, y'all. Um, back in New York, guys. And I think I left my keys to the apartment in Houston. <laughs> I have all my keys are on the same key ring. My house keys for Houston, my house keys here all the other keys and um who child anyways come on alexia you didn't leave them damn keys girl you wouldn't do something like that alexia it's just my purse is so unorganized oh 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 oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> thank you god um Thanks for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I have a flight tomorrow to Seattle. Um, Y'all won't see this in time, but I'll probably be back to Seattle soon because we just started a new route, JFK Seattle. Um, so yeah, let me know what's there to do in Seattle for the next time I go. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, bye.